Hello and welcome to Brick Twits. Today on the cold front of Mount Gagazet, I'm joined by Dan. How are you doing, Dan? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I've got the traditional Easter variety of beer because I didn't fancy drinking any more bloody water and Easter eggs. Oh, you shouldn't put bloody in the water, mate. No blood in the water. I don't. It's like fluoride here. We just add it in. <laughs> it's just how it works. It's just in the in the pipes. Yeah, it's just a, that that is a very old bottle of beer. That's all I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> I've gone for for what I like. I delightfully call Saint Cherry's Fire, which is Fireball and uh, and Cherryade. Meanwhile, which... <laughs> this is the old speckled hen that we decided not to drink when you were here on account of it being several years old. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> It is about time you get rid of that, Alex. Um, so actually, right now, um, Lisa's making a cocktail out of the Guinnesses that were brought to my birthday party last year. Ooh. So on this day, 365 days ago, uh, that we're recording this, by the way, not... Uh, don't worry about it. Um, and uh, the Sam left behind. So she, <laughs> so there been a, a Guinnesses sat in my fridge for a year because I haven't gotten around to drinking them. So she's making a big cocktail out of them. It's probably why you can hear a blender in the background. <laughs> I mean, Sam's good fun because he's a friend of ours who turns up to a lot of these events and he always brings an unholy amount of booze. He does. But he's he regularly the designated driver. Yeah. It, uh, Which... Well, I mean, to be fair, he did drink a, did drink a bit that, that year because um, he stayed over the night like with but everyone. That it was does, great. By most, by most uh, equations, that would make somebody a modern-day saint. Yeah. If they bring no, all the true. booze to everyone else and doesn't, don't drink it and then take everybody else home. So I literally just looked around and Lisa, Lisa just pops her head around the corner with a massive thumbs up. And I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. Yuna's words. That's going to be a good Guinness-based cocktail. Yeah, a Guinness and, uh, punch, she said it was called, which I'm interested in it as to what it actually is. I might pop up the ingredients in the bottom corner or something. This would become a cookery program. If you want us to become a cookery program, why Let's not uh, comment? <laughs> Let us know what you want us to cook for you. Just, just random, like... Old cocktails. Cocktails for leftover alcohol. We're having ourselves a lovely old speckled iced tea. <laughs> what I love about this this one is 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 that um Biran has no voice. Or whoever is he's not actually talking about he isn't actually Biran, is it? This is somebody who looks a bit like yeah. Biran. Explaining that the reason why Biran and Yankee don't get uh, Biran and Kamara don't get on is largely Kamara's fault, apparently. Uh, as always. Well, it's, it's Kamara's fault for being so oh. shit. <laughs> oh, less. Oh, less. <laughs> it's the other one after Blitzball. Uh, I think you just constantly to heard scream. Summoner may pass. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass. But Kimari's a guardian. Kimari so... Brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Not very nice. Good Easter egg. How many Easter eggs did you get this year, Ben? Zero. So good Zero course. Easter eggs. Bad haul this year. Did you buy anyone else any Easter eggs? Uh, no. So bad, bad Dan this year. So your egg differential is zero. Yeah. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's one for one, really. Meanwhile, if it helps, if it helps any, I distributed eight eggs and I received three. Oh, so, so I'm on minus, minus five, five eggs. Jesus. <laughs> minus five eggs. Mate. I mean, I'm upset you never sent me an egg, though, Alex. So. I, win. I, win. I did. Win. You did? Why yeah. Did you send it to it does not get to you. <laughs> no, it just was a loose egg in the post. <laughs> egg. I wrote directly onto the shell your address and put a stamp on it. <laughs> Isn't that a thing oh. you can do with pineapples or something like that? I remember that being a thing that if you, you could write you can write something on pineapples or some form of fruit. It might have been melons. What, 17 damage? He, oh god, it's all Ron so are terrible, aren't they? Anyway, um, so... <laughs> it, they're just all absolutely shit. We probably got time actually. Let's just taste ourselves. Also, um, yeah, but, uh, so I, th I think I think there was a thing that you used to be able to like like actual put. I think it was pineapples. You used to be able to write on the pineapple someone's address, and it would get delivered to them. Do you know um, what I love? It's the fact that the the big like story payoff Kamari fight is boring enough to talk about what you're allowed to send through the phone. <laughs> um, 
that's pretty cool uh, also yeah this this is also a thing as i said that kamari can learn many techniques i remember this from from ages ago many if if you haven't gotten a bunch of lancet techniques you can basically lance at these guys constantly and you get pretty much all of them right now they're the other side so it should be easy enough my my strategy here is to basically just hit him just a bit because they can't really hurt me apparently we'll do a scan now we'll scan the other one yankee yankee baron's best mate that's literally all there is to say about him yeah would you be intimidated by somebody that stands like that in a fight? It is weird, isn't it? It's like it's your balance is really off there, mate, isn't it? But I mean, they, they also <laughs> have. Yeah, they've also got different physiology to us, I suppose. <laughs> what in that they, they should theoretically be significantly hardier. Yeah. All right, let's just steal. Nick stuff. That'll improve our reputation among oh, the wrong side. Oh, kill, kill sphere. Is that key sphere? Kill, kill sphere. sphere. Kill sphere. <laughs> Bonk. So my plan, basically, as you may be able to tell, is when they separate, I'm going to wail on one of them. What? Uh, are you going to try and lance at them to get more techniques? Yeah, just not yet, because I'm not okay. wounded enough. Because Lancet oh, gives you extra um, HP. Oh, and it also gives you overdrive as well, doesn't it? So, yeah. When you learn something new. We should know their place. Shut up, Yankee. Because <laughs> this is something I want. White wind. Yeah. Take that. I'll have it. Gibbs. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Is this, is this is this where uh, Kimaru becomes usable? No. Uh, well, he's going to learn all his overdrives here, isn't he? Yeah. So he's not going to be usable. <laughs> See, but that's the thing they do get to do. Is that's yeah. the thing that does make him all right. So now, so now, now I use like Aqu again the thing thing that does attack them. I think Aqu does self destruct. <laughs> I <think laughs> just end the fight here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably shouldn't have had such that an evil really laugh. That was really good, then. actually. Fire breath was really good. I didn't. I was surprised by that. Nick him. Ah. Oh, all right. own breath. Exciting. Give it a go. Oh, well, he's oh, done. Oh, he took him out. He's gone. He's a goner. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, that's a bad miss. Oh, and that's a bad oh, miss. Oh, he's gone berserk. Isn't that Mighty Guard? I don't know what it was. The... Just keep Lance at him. Yeah, that's the only particular reason to not just keep yeah, you might as spamming well get, out Lance. as much as you can out of it if you get anything else. I actually think we've kept on top of most of their abilities yeah, done right. quite well. But I do want them to Mighty Guard because if he gets that, then we've got a Mighty Guard we can use in the future. Can you steal that as well? Can you get that? Cool. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But we do need him to actually do it. Yeah. Oh, another leave level three keys. Keys to be We want him to out. stop bulldozing so that we can. Because I just have no idea what we'll get Mighty Guard off of otherwise. Hmm. I'm really concerned that we're not going to get Mighty Guard off of him. Come on. He should use it now, right? Oh, I guess once. once. Uh, just use Prey. Let's keep using Prey. We got Remedy. Yeah. Will that cure Berserk? <laughs> oh. oh he cast it again. Stop doing it. Let's do it again. Let's cure him again. 
Use mighty guard, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a little bit of a go. We're not going to take the piss, though. There we go. Must Jinx do? Yep. Makes him less lucky. Be less lucky. Oh. I, I think I think it's fair to say they're not giving us Mighty Guard, isn't No. It? Hmm. There you go, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you win, Kamari Ronso. Could have just started with that. I'm not. I didn't get Mighty Guard. <laughs> Sacred Mount Gagazet. Oh yeah, because Baran's actually like their I champion, isn't he? The name of strong warrior who defeats Biran. Biran. Remember always, Gagazet. That name is Kimari. Kimari. Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner, we Ronso will stop pursuers from temple. Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. It's actually, it's actually a really sweet we moment. Like crush enemies following behind. Yeah, it's just a shame they, they speak like savages. <laughs> Most fortunate summoner. I thank you. Bronzo will shine your statue brightest. Uh, thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Then Ronzo will make. I... With grand horn on head. Yes. That would be one a unicorn <laughs> have you been thinking about that since the first episode a unicorn <laughs> <laughs> oh fear the unicorn I see statue too but i wanted to see it oh with yuna by my side yeah that's not an option he said that so quickly that was really weird he's like i wanted yeah. to see it with yuna by my side <laughs> i feel like it's like the first the first voice acting job that guy had <laughs> Maybe. Not in like a bad way. Well, yeah, in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that in like a bad way. I get voice acting's hard, but also in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I could have delivered that line better if <laughs> I could remember what it was. I wanted to see you in, you in a statue. But with you by my side. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if it was delivered much more outraged than that? <laughs> it's like... So I wanted to see Yuna's statue but with Yuna by my side. <laughs> what is it this time? Yeah, fuck off. <gasps> They're singing the song. I always hear puta madre there, <laughs> which is really upsetting. Oh god, don't, there's more of them. Don't Google that, kids. <laughs> There'll be a link in the description. <laughs> <clears throat> Those twins. 
Nah, they can't be twins. They're wearing different clothes. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. Twins always wear, like, creepy Victorian dresses. And it's always the same. Yeah, they wear the same. Yeah. They always wear the same. Ah, beautiful. Now do Uptown Funk. <laughs> you take <laughs> That'd be great. Bo, bo, bo. <laughs> bo, 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 bo. <laughs> <laughs> so... Hot damn! Hot damn! <laughs> Call the police and fire the man. <laughs> things, things I didn't expect to learn about Alex during this playthrough. That he knows the words to Uptown Funk. Of course I know the words to Uptown Funk. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, Kimari's coming in strong now. I think what we've actually done is, is I think... We've enjoyed him being a bit of a meme and ignored the fact that actually, if we were just to play competently with him, he's quite good. <laughs> um, I don't believe that, but also I'm willing to accept it. Well, the thing is, he's got this great big pile of just abilities. Also, there's, a, there's like a thing up here. I have no idea I if saw we can that. get onto it. Yeah. Oh, it's just oh, a chest. It's a chest. Oh, and, dear. And a That's fight. not a pleasant thing to have to... Alright, so we'll start off, I think, I do mean to go on. We'll chuck it for him. And if it can get rid of these horrible plant things. Then it will get punched to death by that berserker. It's using bulk up. Psych up. Yeah, but it's bulk it's up same. from I, I know. I I was I was making a joke about it raising its attack and defense stat. Oh right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear God. How did you how did you get an actual full on guffaw out of me <laughs> with, with, with you taking the piss out of me? Don't don't dismiss him. Like you might as well let him die. Yeah, might as well. Because as we learned, dismissing is an action. Yeah, which which sucks. Yeah, it's stupid. It's really dumb. And at least that's going to cripple it. Did it genuinely just use its turn just saying bring it on? It did. Okay, then. It deserves to be cursed for its hubris. Hoisted by your own petard. <laughs> well done, Ifrit. I was legitimately expecting you to fall down, then. Good job, Ifrit. We believe in you. Right, next time, let's not do that, because that then actually robbed us of the opportunity to uh, or do anything of any merit in that particular bout. But what we want to do, I think, is put Yuna in behind. Yes. Because that will, what that will allow us to do is if Tidus goes first, or Joel goes first, we can chuck him out in, in replacement. Exactly, so we always have the first attack, basically. <clears throat> Oh, this will be or, fine, or you can or you can use flee if you if you so wish. So this I don't think is actually gonna be that much of a problem as long as we we need to get rid of at least one of these, I think, straight up. Which I think we can do with Auron. Now you may notice I'm suddenly now actually talking through strategies for dealing with this. And there is actually a reason for that, and it's because Gagazet is vastly tougher than a lot of the places you encounter in the core game. Wow. That went really well. Keep on guarding. ABG. Always be guarding. Always be guarding. <laughs> Alright, so we'll fire. Fire. Dang it. It's not dead. God, Whack is so good with evading counter, man. So yeah, good. I do think Auron's probably going to be vastly better. Um, But I, I feel both mean. Of them just constantly. It's just mad. Yeah, should we. Should, after this bout, should we just bung in with the. um? Get rid of the Slumberjack. I don't think we need it anymore. I love the Slumberjack, though. Chuck Riku in. Yeah, get some XP. So it looks like Psych Up actually gets rid of um, 
the dark. Or it, it was does. just... Actually, yeah, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Who no, knows? If I you know, know no. why not that, leave a comment? That, that, that was his turn. It used its ah, turn to cycle. Ah, it up, used so. its turn. Yeah. So that actually, makes a lot more sense. It's actually a smart way to use its turn. To be honest, if it can't, if it knows it's it's going to struggle to hit, then... Get a guard again. There's not a lot of reason not to. Mm. I think Joel's the only one that hasn't done a hit. True. So it's going to keep spamming these out now, I think. Mm. Oh, we missed one. Also, it's definitely worth using Joel's overdrives because then you get more. Yeah, if I remember, I think his ones actually specifically stack in based on how many times you've done the previous it's, one. That's exactly what it is, yeah. So um, the more you use it, the more you get more overdrives. But I think only every other one's any good, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, but you need like, to get through it before. <clears> yeah, it's, it's painful, but you need to get through it. Like Energy Rain, I think, is specifically awful, which is the next one. But it also the... doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not very on brand for him at all. No. That's the horn that's going to go on Yuna's head. <laughs> they mark the graves of summoners who fail. I should point out, this is under two minutes walk away from the entrance to, to Gagazet. What happened? Right, that's a problem. So... I think what we need to do here is we're going to get Waka, so Waka's going to kill the imp thing. Mm -hmm. I think all we're going to do here, I think, is just Hastiger for now. I don't think we got the MP to deal with that. We'll just hit him. <clears throat> And it'll get bigger. But he can only survive like one or two hits. Yeah. So I don't think it matters. It embiggens. <laughs> oh. oh, we've got magic counter on him. Oh, yeah. The noblest gesture. <laughs> the noblest spirit embiggens the smallest man is, is the quote you're trying to go for. I thought it was noblest gesture. Why did I think that? Uh, noblest spirit. Wasn't Javadar Springfield also like a pirate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, the noble I've, I've... spirit in biggest in biggest the smallest man. Smallest man even. Okay, that was oddly weak. It's now officially in the in the dictionary though. Embiggins is a real word now. What, just because of how much use because, it had from Because that? of the Simpsons, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Yes, yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll give we'll give Oren the uh, the counter. Done. I think it's a good idea, just because of how much damage he puts out. Mm. The nastiest thing is that if we picked up that Shiranui, we could have actually given him um we could have given him first strike and that, so he could. He could then just go straight into guard. Could, could, was, it, was it a four stage? I think it was, but it's all right. We, we got I don't think it was. It. I think it was exactly the same. I do remember it being exactly the same, I think. Mm. And that's why we didn't do it, because we looked and we were like, oh, he's got well, everything. Oh, this is actually terrible, yeah. Roll back the tape. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the time to roll back the tape. We've got to walk all the way up to the top of Gagazet. <laughs> Whoever's in control gotta... of the tape room, don't do that. Cancel that. <laughs> Whoever's in control of that. I'm in charge of the tape room. Yeah, it's, at some point you need to actually take that room back over in your house. Dude, it's really annoying. It needs to actually become a regular room again. <laughs> Didn't it used to be where you had like your washing machine and stuff? And now it's just... Now it's just the tape room. <laughs> yeah. Now you have to go down to the river. Yeah. Right, okay. So I think what we're going to do is swap in Auron. Auron can guard. Oh my god, this is just horrible. Then what we'll do is we'll... <clears throat> we'll have some Null Blades. 
Is that no blaze on everyone? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I always forget yeah. that it just does everyone as, as standard. And then we'll just have that. And then we'll just death one of these things. Bio that. It doesn't count as an attack. And I guess we can just fire or something. I don't know why we're getting so many attacks, but cool, I guess. Oh, that's so fast. Like, it's just completely unreasonable, isn't it? It's immune. It took poison damage and then missed. also took Hold on, damage. he missed and then, there you go. <laughs> 3,000 damage. <clears throat> missed. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> the Auron only run. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I can't wait for us to lose Auron. Um, no, no, no. That can't happen. He's our hard carry now. We basically, <laughs> we can find somehow, we can somehow monkey on um, magic counter. Then we can literally just turn everything into an Auron delivery system. It's going to get bigger now. They get in biggins. Get in biggins. The tape. Ah, oh, that's cheeky. Oh, oh, it's fun. <laughs> I love, I love how the camera didn't even cut back to the regular the regular shot to show it happening. It just happened in the background of the first attack. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, irrelevant. It, the, the game recognises that what they do doesn't matter. It means nothing anymore. <laughs> Due to the majesty of Auron. Go there. I think after this set of levels, I think we can probably just wait a bit before leveling up. Yeah, I think we can at least wait till um, to save spheres maybe after this. Yeah, because I think it's just one of the things where it is it is being overly careful, mm. but it but does really it is, suck. It, if you... it is about time to be overly <clears throat> careful because we've basically swanned our way through this game <laughs> up until yeah, now. Yeah, more or less. Um, it's been it's been it's done all right. So this is the point where we'll just guard again. Yep. And then we might as well just uh, throw in a dark buster, which we don't need. You gotta do it. You gotta go for it. Oh no. No. So. If anyone to ask me what was the strongest ability in the game, um, there's an ability called Sentinel, which is basically one of Auron's, meant to be one of Auron's specific ones. But oh, yeah. of course, when you're using advanced mode, everything can go to everything. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> basically what it lets you do is it puts you into the defensive stance, so you take less damage and makes you guard. So, so yeah, okay, Sentinel would be amazing on Auron right now. Yeah, so basically, if he gets hit, happens to get hit by a magic thing. There we go. Miss. <laughs> I do love that it shows the animation and yet it still says miss. Yeah, but it ought to be. It ought to be like the Matrix style, you know. Him just dodging everything, yeah. Oh, t having two thirds. Of Mate, you could give. You could give. T you could give Joel evade encounter. We have the teleport, teleport sphere to do it. Yeah, and actually, to be fair, he wouldn't be terrible at it, but you, he doesn't you could, have... You could have all three of the physical users of the party all have Evade Encounter and literally have, 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 have a party that cannot be hit by physical moves. I mean, you can. All it does is it massively increases your, your chance of being of, of missing. Yeah. So it, there is a chance that they'll hit you, but we still do have HP. Yep. It's so mad, Mari heals to max nearly. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, there we go. Like counter attack type things, you can see, do actually work. Yeah. So we need to actually bring Yuna back in. Do a big heal. Sod it now, I think. Whale. That was so much damage. Oh, it counters as well. Okay. Yeah, and this is the thing that actually makes it quite difficult to deal with. Hmm. Thanks, but Mike. that's why I think Auron's so much better at evade encounter. Yeah. 
Agreed. Because the level of damage that or like basically Oren, you miss him and then he just just he just ruins your life. You, yeah, he like maims it. you forever. Whereas like Waka just gives you a little slap. But Waka does a lot of damage still. <laughs> like in comparison to our other physical attackers, Waka still does a lot of damage. Yeah. He's yeah, I mean I think it basically you have to just treat Oren as a completely separate entity. Yeah. Whip. Do a normal cure. Not that it mattered. Oh, he kept Joel you alive for turn. Because we need Joel and we just don't ever put him in for some reason. Because, well, I forget. But... Right, so we got this story item here, I think. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a. Um... A Bros Broska thing, right? Surely. Yeah, Broska's sphere. Should we yeah. just leave it alone? No, I, th I think we should take a look. But, but <laughs> should we save it for the next episode? We can't. Can't. Hello, Yuna. I hope you are well. I wonder how old you are now that you're watching this sphere. Fourteen. You must be very beautiful, <laughs> like your mother. I, wish I think I could Yuna's see you. seventeen in this, isn't she? Yeah, no, she is. Yeah. Mainly, mainly to make the kiss scene not completely utterly. Uh, by the way, Jack and Oren send their regards. So far, our journey has been very entertaining. Of course. Oh, I bet. With that standard comedian, no Oren. <laughs> it is the path I have chosen. Yuna, when you have grown, you will have to find your own path. You chose the do same way. You must do the way you want to do it. Doors will always open themselves to those who do. Listen close, Yuna. Your future is yours to make. Live the way you want to. Whatever way that may be, you have your father's full support. I've actually Yuna, just only just now noticed how old Bruska actually is. Yeah, if you it's, it's that, kind of hair. Yeah. I think that's probably the point where we stop for the time being. Yeah, 100%. I think so. The revelation that Braska cared enough to leave a videotape on a mountainside that Yuna would only go to if, if she, she was chose a to be summoner, a summoner. Yeah. and then told her to follow her own path. <laughs> There's a certain arrogance there, don't you think? <laughs> Do what you want, but also you'll only know this if you You'll only to be see a me again if you do the thing I want you to do. <laughs> Joel, that's parenting 101, that is. That's parenting 101. I'm not saying go to university, but I'm not giving you this trust fund if you don't. <laughs> you if, do you you enjoyed, if you enjoyed today's episode of What's This Brit Twits, then why not, leave, <laughs> why not leave us a comment, subscribe, like. Dan, anything to add? Uh, yeah, follow us on Brit Twits uh, when you get the chance. Uh, or don't. It's not, it's not important. Um, but no, if you get the chance, it'll be amazing. And thank you all very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you all next time. On your way. Bye.